Let's flip it. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. I've always wanted to try to flip it. Flip it. Whip it. Mip it. What's going on, guys? Welcome to your Vape at Five. I am your host. I am Black Cat. Today, I have a fantastic episode for you. Um, today, we're going to take a look at the new RDA by Jay Hayes and Raven's Moon is called the Jenna RDA. So, I... Um, I got this RDA, Charlie, who I hope Charlie's in chat, sent me his, uh, he had two of them. So he sent me one about a week ago, and I've been able to use it now for about a week. And then uh, yesterday, I received the one that I ordered. Now, there's been a little bit of, um, uh, there's been a little bit of backlash maybe you could use, or maybe a little bit of uh, unrest about the length of time it took from the pre-order to when we uh, ended up receiving them. And I just want to be the first to say that it didn't bother me at all because I think when you do a pre-order, it's a pre-order. You don't know when you're going to get it. You're not, you're not, they're not obligated to, to, to give them to you at any time. You're pre-ordering them because you want the item because you want to ensure that you get it before they're sold out. So I just want there to be known that like, to me, I understood that from the get go. So waiting, you know, a few extra weeks for it to get here was really of no concern to me. But the great thing about it is I have one, I have two now that one I'm sending back to Charlie on Saturday, but I have one that I can vape while I'm doing the review. And I have one that's just out of the box. I haven't cleaned it. I haven't done anything. The only thing that I did do is when you receive it, you're going to receive it with one of the inserts, the ultimate inserts that I'll show you, already pre-installed. And I removed that, and uh, yesterday I did a video on how to reinstall those um, ultimate pieces, a really, really quick, simple way, because it can be a little tricky if, if you're trying to uh, line it up perfectly and get it moving around. It can be a little hard to do. But this way that I, I, I kind of just figured it out, I don't know. I think I heard Batman say something about putting it on and twisting it. And I don't know if exactly what he did, but I'll show you a way that uh, you can uh, you can you can use you can do that, um, and uh, we'll go from there. So welcome everybody, glad you are here. It is Wednesday. Yesterday we had a fantastic episode. Mister M Turk was on the show. It was abs it's fucking crazy. I, I fanboyed out. I totally fanboyed out. And I'm not I'm not ashamed. I'm not. I've dropped that shame. Speaking of dropped the shame, I'll speak about that in a second. I did not have any shame to just admit how much I admire him and uh, how influential he was on me, not only in like, you know, vaping and all that stuff and just a cool guy, but, uh, you know, in building and things like that. Like, I, I really uh, appreciate him and I really appreciate that he would just come on here and do that. He's just such a fantastic guy. So. We are going to, I'm going to, what I'm going to do normally on my reviews, and I've kind of mentioned this before, I'm going to jump right into it. I'm going to do the review, then we'll say hi to everybody, and then, and then, we have a giveaway. Now, the giveaway for today is a set of M-Turk aliens, the, the famous M-Turk aliens, and you're going to get 230 mils of Adori liquid. How do you, how do you get that, Clint? You wondering? I bet you're wondering. Well, I'll tell you. You're going to go to yesterday's episode, which is the live builders chat with M Turk. You're going to put a number in between one and 150 at the end of this episode, at the end of the show, around six o'clock, maybe a little before. I'm going to pick somebody. I'll pull a number and then I'll pick that. We also have two more giveaways. We have a giveaway on Friday for the patrons that you're going to get a stacked Odin mod, con uh, compliments of Tom Urban. He donated that to you guys. We're giving that away on Friday. I'll do a live drawing on the show. The other giveaway is on the Facebook page. You can get a brand new red topside, never used, never out of the box, extra bottle, all that good stuff. Um, so they talked a little bit about the extra bottle not coming with it. Both of mine have the extra, bo uh, extra bottle. So you're getting that. All you have to do is go to the Facebook page, add two people, and comment on the post that is pinned at the top of the Facebook page. Also, talk to the people you add and make sure that they they ask to come in the group and get entered. That is how you enter. Super, super easy. That will be on Friday. I've got some great news about a show that a lot of people have been asking me about. And um, it's something that I had, we you know, something I really, really enjoy doing. We got into it a little bit yesterday when uh, Mike was on. Uh, it's Drop the Shame. So we are going to do a new episode of Drop the Shame on Saturday, 
Our guest is going to be Dermot Dillon, a fine young man who is actually in recovery, has some good time under his belt, and just a guy that I, I've gotten to know um, recently and really, really appreciate him. And he's going to um, he's going to be our guest on Drop the Shame. So Saturday, 9 o'clock on Yeti's Uncle's YouTube channel, we will have Drop the Shame. I look forward to seeing everybody there, um, and I can't wait. I'm, I'm really ready to get back in the swing of that. We have, uh, we have another show planned uh, two weeks after that. We're going to do it every other week, Saturday at 9 p.m. So we'll have another show probably two weeks after that, more than likely. I uh, haven't fully got everything set up for that one, but we do have a guest, and we do have a commitment. So... Let's just plan on getting this one out of the way, and then we'll worry about the next one. All right, so here we go. The Jenna RDA, there she is. I got this about, like I said, about a week ago. Um, when I first got it, I, 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 I was really, really excited to get it. Um, it. It's something that I've waited, you know, I waited for and anticipated. And Charlie was really nice enough to send it over to me so I could get a look at it before. Uh, so I could plan. I plan on doing the review today. But I want to, with all my reviews, I try to use the product for at least a week. At least a week to get, like, the nuances of it and things like that. And if there's anything about it that I can think of, that I can tell you guys about it. If you're if you're actually looking to buy one, then here are some of the things that you uh, will like. And here are some of the things that you may not like. And, you know, that's not about this product, but that's just about anything. Um, so far, I have uh, – I've really enjoyed it. I, I really, really have. I'll tell you, at the beginning, um, it took me a little bit to get uh, the right coil. I put – um, a, way too small of a coil in it. And that's one thing I'm going to show you on the deck is it is a single or a dual core 22 or coil 22 millimeter RDA. Um, and I think I put in a, um, a five wrap 28 gauge, uh, nichrome 80 coil. And it was too, I, I think I, I liked the vape, but it wasn't giving me, a, it really felt like I could put a bigger coil in it and get a little bit more heat. And I did, I actually put a, uh, three millimeter 27 gauge, but I put a piece of four, uh, point four in the middle. So it's much bigger than a 27 gauge alien in it. And it fits perfectly. And it actually, I probably could have went to 26 gauge. I did not try the dual coil configuration, just because it's a 22 millimeter, and I think that a single coil is more suitable for my vaping style in a 22 millimeter RDA. Um, it has a lot of different airflow options, and I'll show you that on the down low and talk a little bit more about it. So let me bring you down to the desktop here. I'm going to show you first. I'm going to show you what you get in the package, and then <coughs> then I'm going to uh, show you the RDA, show you the deck. We'll bring it back up. We'll talk about it a little bit, and then we'll uh, move on to the next part of the show. Uh, all right, get down to the macro. All right, guys, get you right there. So when you receive the Jenna RDA, it's going to come in this little velvet pouch here. Uh, basically, it's just the RDA is going to be in that pouch. Uh, mine was wrapped in uh, construction paper almost, uh, just like shipping paper, and in a box inside of this. The other things you're going to get with it, you're going to get your basic uh, guts package. So in here, you get a scratch and sniff sticker, which is kind of funny. You get two Allen keys. One is going to be for your deck. The other is going to be for your squonk pen. And it's got a really unique way to pull this, to uh, install the squonk pen. The squonk pen is already installed. You're actually going to just remove a small pen out of the, out of the uh, 510 on the bottom there to uh, put it into squonk uh, mode or capability. You get three O-rings. One O-ring is for the bottom of the uh, mod, or the bottom of the RDA, and I'll show you that. You get two deck screws. There's uh, one here. And there's another one in here somewhere. And you get this little screw here. And what this is, there's, there's the other deck screw. The other, this little screw right there is another squonk pin screw. And I'll show you exactly how, the, how that works when I show you the RDA. Something unique about this RDA and something that I really, really think is going to be uh, much, much bigger moving forward are Ultim airflow control options for your RDA. Um, there are two of them that are provided. 
You have one that is, uh, this one here is the one that I think most people are using. And if you watch any reviews, you'll say that most people are using this one here. Uh, and what it does is it takes, it's a top flow airflow into the RDA. And what this does is it takes that top airflow and it pushes it down to a bottom airflow by forcing the air down the side of it and then back up through the middle here. Um, I've, I've been using this one. I have not used this option here. This option here is a uh, not no spitback type option. If you really, really do not like spitback, this will stop that from happening. And how this one works is the airflow is going to come down on this side. It's going to travel across the coil uh, horizontally, and then it's going to come out on that side up. So if you can see that there how that works. So it's basically just going straight across this way, the airflow, and then up to uh, the drip tip into your mouth hole. <laughs> Another option that you can get for this RDA is a stainless steel uh, beauty ring. Uh, they are $15 and uh, they really, really look nice on the RDA. Here's what it looks like with that beauty ring. And it's really, really nice. Excuse my mouth funk on there. It's gross. All right, let's bring the RDA over and take a look at it. So take this off of here. All right, so here is the RDA. Very, um, I, I think it's a very classy looking barrel. I like that there's not a whole lot to it. I, I And I think with most high end RDAs, you're not going to get any branding on the actual barrel. Uh, it's going to be very sleek, and typically the stainless steel type look is what you're going to get. Um, the dimensions on this RDA are 22 millimeters across here. Uh, actually, without the top cap, it's about 20.5 uh, millimeters. So the from the 510 to the drip tip is 32.3 millimeters, and from just the part that we'll be showing on your mod, is about 27 millimeters. On the top here, you get your drip tip, just a standard 510 drip tip goon style. When you remove that, it is, if I can get it out of here, there you go. Standard 510 drip tip, Dolrin drip tip, really, really nice. Has like almost like a little hat type look to it. And what that does is when you put this on here, it, uh, will basically keep your lips from topping, touching the top here. I have not had even a warm, hit with this RDA at all. So, and I have big lips. That's one of my things about using uh, a 22 millimeter RDA that I have problems with is I feel like my lips just swallow it when I use it. So um, this Delrin uh, cap top, whatever, really protects your lips there if you're gonna worry about getting uh, it being too hot. Bottom of the RDA gives you the name. Jay Hayes's symbol there, the number, your serial number, and where it's made. This is made by Raven's Moon in the US of A. Now you'll see this little, little gap here all the way around. That is for one of those 510 pen rings. And what you do is you put your five, your, or not 510, excuse me, your O-ring. So what you do is you take your O-ring, place it in there, and what it does, a couple different things. One, when you're in squonk mode, it keeps the uh, juice from coming out and spilling onto your mod secures it against the mod. The other is it provides kind of a bumper between this metal here and the top of your mod. To put it into squonk mode, if you look down in here, it might look like it's already in squonk mode, but it's not. There's a pin in there. You're going to use the smaller Allen key to pull that pin out. And again, it will be, they give you an extra one as well in case you lose it, because it would kind of be, if you took it out on the fly and set it somewhere, you probably would lose it. So they do give you an extra one, um, of course, when I did it, I just took it right out and put it right back into the bag on uh, Charlie's, the one that I'm using now. But that's how you would do it. You would use that small Allen key and pull it out. Really nice protruding 510 pin. This is certainly uh, hybrid safe, in my opinion. Uh, if, you, if you know what you're doing with hybrid mechs, I think that you uh, would have no concerns. And it's, of course, it is insulated. Top airflow, like I mentioned before, the airflow control is done by your 510. By spinning this around, opens and closes the airflow. Uh, the airflow, of course, is top. And what happens is with that airflow control piece that you use, it takes the air and forces it down onto the deck. 
I don't think using this without your with using this without your airflow control piece, um, I'm not sure. I didn't try it, but I, I would hate to say I don't think it would really be that great of a vape, honestly, because that airflow is going to go over top your coil. So I think if you're going to use it, you're going to want to use one of those airflow controls. All right, bring this up just a touch, and let's take a look at the deck. Well, let's look at the barrel first. So inside here, you're going to see that Altum piece that is your drip tip goes into and controls it when you turn it. And that is basically your airflow control. Once you have your Altum uh, insert in there, it is going to stop and start. Basically, it will go all the way closed, stop, and then you can move it all the way open and it will stop. So it locks it in there, um, keeps it from spinning in circles. Like right now, I could just spin it and it'll spin in circles. Um, once you get that in there, it will, uh, it will stay put. Now, if you look in here, this is how I received it. So let me see if I can see. There's no dirt, no machine marks, no grime, no no anything on this. Came really, really, really clean. Again, I have not washed this. And the reason I didn't wash it is because I wanted to show everybody how clean it came when I got it. Um, I, honestly, I, I mean, I would wash it, but you could probably vape this right now and have absolutely no problems at all. So that's the top. Top cap is moderately thick. Um, which will help with heat reduction. Uh, the thicker the metal is, the less heat, the uh, less heat it's going to conduct and heat up for you when you're uh, using it. Uh, so it's moderately. I mean, it's not huge, but it's uh, you know, it's about. I guess it would be about 1.5 millimeters thick, and that's just going by the uh, judgment of it's a 22 millimeter RDA with the cap on, and it's 20.5 millimeters just the deck. All right, so here's the deck of the RDA. It is a postless deck, right? And one thing that you'll notice is, is it is a dual coil RDA. So if you're going to look at it in a dual coil configuration, you're really gonna have to be pretty careful with the size of coils you put in. Um, I don't think you could get away with putting in two three, three millimeter coils in this. And I don't see why you would. I, I can't see, you know, three millimeter coils are quite frankly are for 25 or for 24, 25 millimeter RDAs. So in dual coil configuration, I, I just wouldn't see. I, I think if you were going to do it, you'd be safe putting them in at 2.5 millimeters uh, if you're going to do a dual. But quite frankly, you could probably even do two millimeter coils and put them in here and it would probably work a little bit better. Um, the installation of this, I basically kept it very close to the deck. One thing about the deck here is, is on the uh, review model, they didn't have this, but on the production model, they did. You see that little nudge there? That little nudge is for your, uh, your coil jig so that you can put the coil exactly where you want to put it. And it will tell you, I love that because it gives you a guide. It's almost paint by numbers. You put the coil exactly where that tells you to put it right there. And you want it really, really close to the deck. Um, I saw in one of the reviews, and I believe it was by DJ LSB, he said to cut the, uh, the leads right there. So you see that line in the deck that kind of goes through the middle there? He said if you were to put the coil on top here, just cut it at that length. I did that. And I'll tell you, it was perfect. When I installed it, I tightened it down. It was perfectly flush with that, with those little grooves there for your coil jig. Uh, there's, as you would probably expect, there's no gold plating on the deck. It is solid stainless steel, nice peak insulator. Big thick one, actually, that's wedged in there, keeping the positive and the negative apart. When you squonk it, and I will show you, um, one thing for me, squonking is, the, the ability for an RDA to squonk is, is is really important to me. And the importance of an RDA squonking means that it has to be, don't forget the guide on the side. I got it, Jay. Jay's in chat. How are you, Jay? Good to see you, man. Thank you for joining, sir. So um, one important thing for me is how an RDA squonks. And this RDA really does great at wicking because if you see your, five, your squonk, hole here is right up onto the deck and basically right underneath your coil and he made these two lifts here on the side on both sides that basically contains your juice when you do squonk it it goes up here to the very top and uh, then it will go recede back into your the cotton here will go into both sides and will soak up any juice that doesn't go back into your squonk hole there so it, it really was 
made uh, with squonking, I think with squonking in mind. I did drip it when I first got it, and I I had a good experience with it, but I think it really shined for me when I put it in squonk mode. I mean, I know for sure that it really shined for me when I put it in squonk mode. It's a good dripper, and it, it's a fantastic squonker. So let me show you just a little bit of the deck here. These are your entry holes for your Allen key to loosen and screw, loosen and tighten your deck screws right there. Big beefy O-rings there, keep your cap on. Cap is not difficult to get on and off. That's one of my pet peeves about RDAs, that caps are really, really difficult to get off of. It is not at all difficult to get the cap on and off here. Really well machined. I, you know, I didn't have any, any kind of dirt grime, anything on this at all. I mean, it came to me extremely clean. So there you go. Now let's take a look at it in squonk mode. So I'm gonna grab the one that I've been using. In this, that is the coil that I mentioned. So this coil is a 27 gauge with a 0.4 in the middle. I mean, it's a pretty big coil. And you can see there, that's a little bit beat up because I've been using it, but it fits really, really nicely in the RDA. No problem at all. So this thing can handle some fairly, I, I honestly, I thought about this today and I really think I could have went with a three and a half mil, no problem. Absolutely no problem. The only concern is that you have an Ultim piece going over top of it, an airflow control. So you have to be, you have to keep that in mind that you obviously do not want this touching the Ultim piece. But uh, I think three and a half would have been absolutely no problem. But three for me worked perfect. So you can see there that the, uh, the cotton isn't really that saturated. It's pretty dry. Here's what it looks like in squonk mode. So you can see how the juice comes up and goes into the juice well there. Basically completely submerges the coil. And then look at the juice in the in, that come into the, uh, I wish I had a slow-mo of that, how well this RDA wicks. I mean, it... I just absolutely, I love that. I mean, it's perfect. It wicks perfect. That's with a nice firm press, which would be what I would use when I'm on the go. And it absolutely wicks perfectly there. Juice goes right back into the juice well, just like it should right back into the bottle. All right. Let me see if there's anything. I had some things written down here. I think I got everything. Oh, one thing I should mention. So with the top flow, with the uh, top airflow, it does not leak at all. I have not got this thing to leak at all. And it shouldn't because look how high up your airflow is. And there's no possibility of that, of that juice getting out of there at all, especially with those two Altum, with the Altum insert in there. It is, it's leak proof almost. So let me have a vape here and I'm going to show you uh, how, which I put the wrong cap on. I did. So let me uh, show you how I put the Altum piece in, in case anybody was wondering. All right, so here's the RDA, here is your barrel. What you're gonna do is, the one that I'm going to use is the one with the hole in the top, and I'm gonna show you a really, really easy way to get it in here. So let me get this out of the bag. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of juice around that O-ring, and the reason being is I want it to move freely inside the barrel, and if you don't do, do that on these O-rings, not on these O-rings specifically, but on any O-ring, it'll get a little bit, can be a little bit tight. So that's, I would suggest doing this on any. So just use your finger here, kind of clean, try to get a little bit of uh, juice on here to loosen it up. And it's as easy as this, guys. You're gonna take your barrel here, you're just going to close off the airflow, and then you're gonna place this in here, just like that. Make it, Make sure it's in there nice and tight. Put it on top of the RDA as much as it will go, just like that. Now you'll see I have a little bit of space there, and I'm just going to turn it until it stops right there. Now the now it is installed perfectly. So you'll see my airflow control opening and closing here. Let me see if I can get it focused a little bit. So basically, put it in there, put it on the RDA, and then twist it a little bit to the uh, about maybe. A half turn clockwise your airflow control is open and close take the cap off here and if you look down into it you can actually see the opening of the air it's installed perfectly in there guys that'll work for you every single time I've been doing it I found it kind of did it last night on accident and I said I don't know if Batman 
had, uh, I know Batman did something like that, but I can't remember if that's exactly what he did. So I don't want to steal credit from him if he's the one who found that, but it works every time. You close the airflow all the way, put that piece, that, uh, that AFC in there, push it down, make sure it's in there as firm as you can get it, and then just put it on top of the RDA and twist it clockwise until it stops and it locks it in perfectly. So that's how you do it. All right, so here we, we are back up top. <laughs> Let me get all this stuff picked up. I don't want to lose anything. <laughs> All right, back up top with the Jenna RDA by Mr. J. Hayes and Raven's Moon. Isn't she beautiful? Now, first off on this thing, so I'm going to do my my thoughts, what I like, and uh, negative pros and cons, things like that of the RDA like I typically do. What do I like about the RDA? First off, I really like the look of it. I think it's I think it is really classy. It it just suits like I love black mods and I love stainless steel RDAs or black RDAs. And I just think that that with that beauty ring on there, I just think it's a really really sexy look. Um the top of it here with that little top cap, I at first I was a little put off by that. I didn't I didn't think it, I thought maybe it was a little much, but honestly, now that I've used it and understand its purpose and kind of got used to the way it looks, I I like it. I actually kind of like it, and I think that. Uh, but the thing about it is, it's it's compatible with any other 810 drip tip you have. So you could use any 810 drip tip in it at all. You could put anything. You know what I mean? So if you don't like that, it has the little t the little hat to protect your lips on there, then you could take that off. And quite frankly, I haven't. I, it hasn't gotten hot, so I I don't know if it, if I even really needed it. And I'm one of the big lip guys that always needs something protecting my lips on an RDA. So that capacity, I think it, you know, I think it, 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 I understand why it's there, but I mean, quite frankly, it does really well at, at heat displacement and you have that Ultim in there that protects the metal from getting hot. You know what I mean? Cause the Ultim doesn't get hot. It's not, it doesn't hold heat. So you're really protecting yourself from getting any kind of heat up through the cap to your lips. It doesn't leak. That's a big thing for me is if you, especially in squonk mode, if the RDA leaks, because the last thing you want is to be squonking in an RDA and next thing you know, you got a handful of juice. And that is to me is just an absolute, that that's unacceptable, quite frankly. And the thing about it is, you know, does it leak when you turn it left side, upside down, right side? No, it doesn't. And the reason being is it's top airflow. And that's, I think, you know, you sacrifice. I, I really love bottom airflow but you sacrifice because if you're going to make it bottom airflow, you have the risk of it leaking. And that's just the way it is to get around that. What I believe Jay did to get around that was he made it top airflow with that Ultim airflow control piece that pushes the air down onto the deck. So he engineered it so that you could do that so that it would be bottom airflow with the comfort of the top airflow and not having to worry about it leak. So there's two things. It doesn't get hot. It doesn't leak. Those are two very important things to me about an RDA. The look of it obviously is very good. The flavor. Flavor is really good. The flavor is really, really good. I'll tell you, when I use it, whenever I use a new RDA, and I think you hear this pretty consistently out of most people that look at things and review or talk about their user experience with something, is I use the same juice I constantly use. And there's a few, like, you know, Hazy Custard, Consequence, uh, Mont Blanc. Those are like the three that I pretty much use exclusively. And um, I'll tell you something. And, and I had this experience with the rebirth, and I mentioned it. I tasted different flavors in the consequence that I hadn't tasted before. And that to me was really, not only was it exciting, but it was just like, it, I don't know. I, I felt um, like that, that, was way, that was worth almost anything to me. Like price wise, because it you know it let me enjoy a juice that I really really enjoy, and let me pull out different flavors of that juice for me that I hadn't been able to achieve in other RDAs. Um, that's huge to me, and that's that's something that I really really appreciate. Um, so those are so just saying that those are the pods. So you got the flavor. Um, you know, and for a smaller RDA, the cloud production on it, there, I'll show you. It's actually pretty, it's pretty crazy for a single coil. Of course, my single coils are hot. They're Nichrome 27. It's a big coil in there. So I'm going to get a lot of vapor. But, I mean, here, here's the vapor production on this RDA. Mm. 
Give it a nice squonk. And I get a mouthful of flavor. I get a mouthful of flavor. And, and that is exactly what I want. It's a wet vape. Not, not, not like I'm not spitting out juice. But I'm getting it like my tongue is is coated with flavor, and I'm getting a nice wet vape. I, it, it really is a, a very enjoyable vape for me. Um, the only you know, so here's the deal with the price of it. Now I always look at things at value. What is your value for the RDA? That's one of the big things I look at, and because <clears throat> I think most of the people that watch my show are kind of are concerned about cost. So it's ninety dollars out the door now. Fifteen dollars for the beauty ring as well. Um, the, what I'm going to tell you about the price is it's American made, and that they were able. When I say they, Ravens Moon and Jay Hayes, were that they were able to make this RDA for ninety dollars is really pretty astounding, because I think this RDA probably would have floated around the at the minimum one twenty to one forty five fifty range. Um, and maybe a little more just because of it being American made, you know, he, um, it could have been produced overseas with less quality control, you know, at probably 85 to $90. So I think the value of the RDA, even though <clears throat> I still got that frog in my throat, even though it is priced at $90, I still think it is a really, really good value. Um, and I think if you can afford it, it is certainly an RDA that you want in your disposal. The um, the rating. So if I were to rate this RDA on a scale of uh, poor all the way up to excellent, I would rate this a great RDA. This is an RDA that I think everybody, um, especially if, if you're into high end and into really nice 22 millimeter RDAs, single coil. Um, it's it's not a it's not a mouth to lung. Now you can shut it down and get close to mouth to lung. Well, it, it is kind of a mouth to lung when it's complete when the airflow is completely controlled. But if you're like me and you like that restricted direct lung hit, this is it right here. This is one that you're really really going to want to get. Um, I was really excited to get it, and I'll tell you, I wasn't disappointed at all. So I appreciate you guys. Um, Thanks for watching the the uh, review. We're going to continue on with the show. So I give it a great rating. Great job, Jay Ravens. Man, you guys are fantastic. Uh, Charlie, thank you so much for sending this to me so I could review one and keep have one. Not keep, but have one. I really appreciate it. All right. Time is it? 5.30. I'm like, I have like clockwork. I am like a fucking machine. When it comes to time, I like knew. I knew it was close to 5.30. No, I didn't. I had no clue. I had no clue. <laughs> All right, say hi to everybody. We're going to move on here. Say hi to everybody. Now, remember, we have a giveaway today. So, you're going to be able to win a set of coils from MTurk and 230 mils of Adoria Liquid by to enter that giveaway. You want to put a number in. Yesterday's episode, which was, I, I got a call, and I don't know if I told you. Did I tell everybody? I probably didn't. I told a few people. Yesterday, we had uh, a little sit down chat with Mr. MTurk. Um, after the show was, 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 uh, completed, I went back upstairs to have dinner with my lovely wife and family. I got a call. I got a call on the phone, a surprising call, a number I did not recognize. The number was from CBS news. I couldn't believe it. I was like, CBS news. What the hell is CBS news calling me? Well, it's the producers of 60 minutes. They said that my interviewing skills were so fantastic that they wanted to hire me for 60 minutes. <laughs> no, they didn't. I was such a fanboy. When I got done, uh, people were messaging me. They're like, dude, you totally fanboyed out. I was like, yeah, I did. I was like, I couldn't help it, dude. Like, I'd rise down and send a message. Like, just like, dude, I love you so much, man. You want to come over? You want to come over and play pool? Come over to my house. Let's play some darts, man. You want to be our best friends now? No, I didn't do that. I, um, I, I thought about that. I like being like, <laughs> all right. Anarchy Coyle, what's up, man? How you doing, brother? Great to see you, sir. Glad you are here. Raja, he's not my he's not my math teacher. Could you, Raja, you good at math? You fucking good at math? Are you? Could you? Might be. Fuck, I don't know. Black cat, white face. That's me. I'm branded. I am so branded. I got tomorrow off. I got to work tomorrow. I'm going to buy my wife a new vehicle tomorrow. That is on the agenda. We're getting a new vehicle. That salesman that my wife nearly killed the last time we were there, we're going to meet him, and I know he is not looking forward to that interaction. But 
I am. So we will see what happens tomorrow. Brian Feeney, what's up, Cole Feeney? How you doing, man? Great to see you. Bubbly Blindly. Bubbly Blind here. It's giveaway day. He's in the house. How you doing, Bubbly? Good to see you. Charles McLaren and the Baron. What's up, Charles? How are you, brother? Great to see you. Glad you're here. Charlie. What's up, Charlie? Charlie. Don't forget, tomorrow, the greatest show on the YouTubes last week, highest rated. It was rated, like, it was rated 100 out of 100. First time ever. If there was ever a show rated 100 out of 100 on YouTube, yeah. The vape hot tub was rated 100 out of 100. Charlie, it's because of Charlie, not because of me. We got the vape hot tub tomorrow. So make sure you tune in 5 o'clock. It's going to be great. Good to see you, Charlie. Glad you're here. Sinnon! What's up, Sinnon? How you doing, honey? Great to see you. Glad you are here. Clint Johnson. What's up, Clint? How are you, man? Great to see you. Glad you are here, sir. <laughs> so, <laughs> Clint, I owe Clint an apology. So, Clint. We're exchanging packages. He sent me some stuff. Not like, don't get, don't get, don't put your mind in the gutter. We're exchanging packages. So I sent him something. He sent me something. He's from Australia. Well, first off, Clint, I don't think I'm ever going to get your package because I think customs is shut down. I've got something from Germany coming and then I got yours coming. And I think customs is shut down because Trump shut down the government. He was like, no, they didn't what they didn't do what he said. He's like, okay. I'm going to shut it down. I was like, I didn't even know. I watched him show. I watched him talk the other day. He's talking about the government shutdown. I was like, what? Government shut down. I was like, that fucking sucks. What the fuck? But yeah, he did that. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get my stuff from, from customs or not. I hope. Anyway, I sent Clint a uh, an RTA that I, I wanted him to have. And I, I, if I don't use something, I just give it away because I'm not going to use it. And I don't need a, I don't need a bunch of them. So there's one that uh, I wanted Clint to try. And I couldn't get it to really do anything for me. But a lot of people had reviewed it. And a lot of people had really, really liked it. So I was like, let me have Clint see if he can, he can figure this thing out. And I sent him the box. I sent him everything. I put everything in the box. Sent it to him. He got it. He opened it up. I fucking forgot to put the RTA back in it. There's, there's no RTA. It's just like the old styrofoam piece and empty. <laughs> Sorry, Clint. Not on purpose, dude. Good to see you, man. Glad you're here. Clutch! What's up, Clutch? Where's your partner at? Charlie. Charlie and Clutch in the house. Rolling chat. What's going on, man? Great to see you. D-Bone. What's up, D-Bone? How you doing, man? Great to see you. Glad you are here, my friend. Good to see you. Eddie T. Hell M16. What's up, M16? Good to see you, man. Glad you are here. Ed did his first staggered in yesterday. Tag me in a post. Mr. M16 did his first staggered in. And uh, no, uh, stagger fuse clapped him. Proud of you, man. Good for you. It's a, it's a fantastic vape. And I'll tell you, once you get one, you're going to want to try over and over and over again and keep trying to put more cores in. And maybe you'll make a stagger fuse Clapton or a staple stagger fuse Clapton. It's all like right there, man. Once you learn how to stagger, it opens up just hundreds of other variations that you can do. So look forward to that, man. Have some fun. Uh, evilist Ren. What's up, Ren? How evil are you, sir? I don't know. Well, welcome to the Vape at Five. I haven't seen you before. Welcome. I, uh, I'm your host. I'm Black Cat. Uh, if you like bad dad jokes and old guys, then you, sir, are in the right place. Good to see you. Thank you for joining. Fabian! What's up, Fabian? How you doing, man? Great to see you. Glad you're here. Frank Einstein. Frankenstein. What's up, Frank? How you doing, man? I'm already down to F's and I'm starting to get tired. Hold on. I got to speed this up. Ian! What's up, Ian? Thomas, how you doing, man? Great to see you. James Capozzi. What's up, James? How are you, sir? Great to see you. Glad you're here. Jeff Sealer. What's up, Sealer? How you doing, man? I do I say your name right now? Is that how you say it? Sealer? Sealer? Siler? Is it Siler? It's probably Siler, isn't it? It probably is. Because I remember one time I said your name. You're like, that's not how I fucking say my name. Message me after this and tell me how to say it. And then I'll promise I will say it wrong continuously even after that. Great to see you, Jeff. Glad you are here. Joey to the motherfucking O. Oh, what's up, Joey? How you doing, brother? Joey was the big winner of the Build Mafia giveaway that we had last week. He won a Dreamer and he won, a, he won two Warriors. A Dreamer. And like 25 sets of coils from like me, J Roller, uh, Vape Ride, Johnny Drips, um, Coil Chief, Massey, uh, Nick Wiggins. Like he won like a fucking onslaught of fucking awesome shit. Congratulations, Joey. You deserve it. I'm glad you won, man. Kate Nicole, what's up, Kate? How are you, honey? Great to see you. Super glad you are here. Kate was like, hey, did you, did you, get, did you get my money? She joined the Patreon. She's like, get my money. I was like, hell yeah, I did. I already spent it. She's like, you did? Uh huh. What you spend on a helicopter? People ask me, like, what are you doing with the Patreon? I'm buying a fucking helicopter. What do you think I'm doing? You put no. Put it back in the show now. I can buy a helicopter. Zoom, zoom, I'm out of here. You're gonna, you're gonna see videos of the <laughs> me and the dog. Me and the dog in our new helicopter flying all the fuck around. That's what you're gonna see. I, I don't I'm kidding. 
<laughs> Good to see you, Kate. Thank you. I'm glad you're here. Lady Louisiana, there she is. What's up, lady? How you doing, honey? I get a message every morning when I wake up for lady. She's like, hey, Scott, how are you, man? What's going on? Good to see you, black cat. Love you. And I'm like, I love you too, lady. Good to see you. She's like, okay. And then, like, middle of the day, she's like, how's your, how's your day going? Like, one of the nicest people I've ever met in my entire life, lady. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you. It's a good Thanks for joining. Mark Provace, what's up, Mark? How are you, brother? Great to see you. Uh, Matt Stabater. Matt. <laughs> Trying to pull one over on me, are you, Matt? A little joke there. Masturbator. Very nice. Very nice. Two words, even, with M-A-T. <laughs> Trying to get me to say it. I like that. I like your style, Masturbator. I'll be. I'll keep my eye on you. Mike Specs Reviews, what's up, Mike? How are you, brother? Great to see you, man. Glad you're here, Mr. Pebble, my bebble. Good to see you, Samuel. What's up, Samuel? How you doing, man? Samuel, did you get your uh, did you get your Jenny yet? I know that you were talking about getting it. I hope you did. You're over in uh, the UK, so maybe it take a little bit more to get there. You're gonna be pleasantly surprised, man. It's fantastic, RDA. Happy for you. Glad you're here. Spring. I'm interrupted. Yes. Did you read my message on your show? No, I couldn't see it, Veronica. I was too busy. Well, listen. What about spicy beef? Spicy beef. Oh, you want to go to, uh, the it's kind of far. It's not that far. 20 you want to go to the White Swan? That or Roosters? That or Roosters? Well, you know what I'm going to pick. It's Roosters, that or Roosters. Why don't you come down here and say hi to everybody? Yeah. They're all, they'll miss you. Oh, <laughs> I think, well, look, look. You guys just stay up there and do girl things. I'm down here taking care of business. Trying to do the vape at five, for God's sakes. Who's next? Mr. Pebble, my bell. Spring! What's up, Spring? How are you, honey? Great to see you. Glad you are here. Stephen Aiken for bacon in the making. Good to see you, Stephen. Glad you're here. Super vape nerd. What's up? Nerd vapes. What's up, Super? How you doing? Vroom, vroom. The Yost is with the most. Good to see you, my brother. Glad you're here, Scott. Yes, good to see you, man. Todd Black. What's up, Todd? How you doing, brother? Great to see you. Tom Urban. What's up, Urban? How are you, man? Great to see you. Glad you are here. Tracy. What's up, Tracy? How are you? Vapor Mechanic. What's going on, my man? Good to see you, John. Glad you are here. Mr. Valkill. What's up, Valkill? How you doing, man? Great to see you, Val. Now, did you get did you get a Jenna, Val? I, I, I couldn't remember if you got one or not. I'll tell you, if you do, you're going to really, really enjoy it, man. It's fantastic. Great to see you, buddy. Glad you're here. Brizzle! What's up, Brizzle? How are you, man? Great to see you. Glad you are here. Va who's vaping out? Selena. How you doing, Selena? Good to see you. Selena, I owe you a package. I do, and it really bothers me because I have one. I have it sitting upstairs, but I still need to make the sweatshirts. I need to get my wife. Message my wife and tell her to start making sweatshirts. She's like... She's like basically holding them hostage, you guys. So anybody who I owe a sweatshirt to or a shirt, no, that is Veronica's fault, 100%. Not my fault at all. I can hear her upstairs yelling, so I think she's watching. It's her fault because she's not. She's holding them hostage because she knows how to do the little iron-on thing. I have no clue how to do that. I need to learn. That's what it is. I need to learn how to do that, probably. Where am I at? Uh, and my brother from another brother, Mr. Wood, Tick Mike. Good to see everybody. Glad you are here. What time is it? 5.43. All right. We are family. We are going to do. Take care of business. That's right, Lino. How you doing, man? Good to see you. This thing has been shutting off on me. I think there's something wrong with my battery. Locked key set. No, I keep locking it. There we go. JTH, good to see you, man. Buddha, what's up, brother? How you doing, man? Dermot! What's up, Dermot Dillon? All right, guys. So, I mentioned everything that we have going on this week, the two giveaways that we have on Friday. And Drop the Shame with Mr. Dermot Dillon is going to be our very special guest on that show. Um, if I'm going to take a minute to talk about that now. If you have not watched Drop the Shame, or don't you never uh, don't know what it's about, it is a uh, recovery show uh, that Yeti's uncle and I do. Uh, we have a guest typically every time that we do. We haven't done it. I believe the last show we did was in November, and we had manipulated metals on um, Derek. So we haven't done it for a few months. Um, and so we're, we're going to be back at it on Saturday, and it's going to be a regular thing every other Saturday. Uh, and it's for people that are people that are in recovery, people that think they might have a problem, people that you know think they know somebody that has a problem, people that know people that have problems in their family. It's for everybody. So, I really encourage you to join if if um, 
you have any questions or anything, you can always reach out to me. I'm at dropthesshame.com. It's dropthesshame.com, or excuse me, dropthesshame at gmail.com. Um, and email me any questions, concerns, or anything you have. Now, the one thing I will caveat here is we're not experts here. I have no training and I have no like recovery, uh, degree, but what I do have is a very specific set of skills. No, I don't have very specific. What I do have is 25 years of alcoholism and recovery from that. So I can tell you what I did to help you get sober, um, and uh, you can make your own choices from there. Uh, that's a decision that only the addict or alcoholic addict, I guess you could say, because they're both addicts, but it's the only decision that you can make. Nobody else can make that decision for you. Uh, I think there's a lot of people that, especially family members, that try to help and end up actually uh, hurting more than they're helping in, in the respect that they enable the person to allow to do what, what they want to do because... Any person who's in full-blown uh, alcoholism or addiction is going to manipulate anybody they possibly can to get what they want. And they will tell you everything that you want to hear in order to do that. And the reason I know this is because I am fantastically good at it. And I did it for a very long time until I came to terms with what I was doing and really wanted help. So I encourage you to watch. It's, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. And uh, it'll be. An, I think we're going to probably do it for an hour be the entire show so encourage you to watch all right i hope everybody got their entry in we're gonna go ahead and do the giveaway for we're giving away m turk aliens and two 30 mils of a dory liquid this will be shipped out on saturday you will pay for shipping if you win i believe i'm gonna charge like five bucks for shipping right around in there so i don't know exactly how much it is uh sometimes i lose sometimes i win on the on the money not lose or win but sometimes i end up paying a little bit extra sometimes i don't i end up getting a little bit back you'll have the option to get it back if you want it but it's gonna be five dollars shipping so don't enter unless you can pay the five dollars shipping all right here we go let me go and find that episode let me just pull this one here go to my page And it would be this episode here. You might hear it for a second until I mute it. I got it. All right, let me stop it. And let this load up. Show more. Wow, we got a lot of entries. That's good. I'm glad you got a lot of people got into it. That's awesome. Yep. 51 entries this week. Great job. I think last week we had 43, so kicked it up a few this week. All right, let me go to my uh, random number generator. And random generator. We're going to do a number between 1 and 150. Closest to the number, without going over, is going to be the winner. It's Price is Right rules. First number, 76. Second number, 83. And the third and winning number is 95. Closest to the number 95 without going over. Won't focus on it. That's all right. So here we go. Get on my don't want to lose anything. Let me put this back in the bag. And I'll put the RDA back in here. Oh, I'll just leave it there for a second. All right. 90, oops, 95. Hurry up, Scott. Hurry up. I want to win. <laughs> All right, hold on. So this will be... Oh, look, call from Louisiana. No idea what that is. We are going to put that to the side. All right. Let's see here. So this would be for a door and Turk. All right, 95. Let's see. 73 is our leader. 73, 73. 78, Mr. Pebble, 78, 78, Charlie, 84, Jeff Lawson, 88, Tiana Cadbona, don't know her. All right, 88, 
88. 88. I think we got a winner. 88. Anything above 88? Do I see an 89? 94, Heather Joe. Damn. Yep, 94, Heather Joe. Heather Joe, 94. Congratulations. Heather Joe, you are the winner. Girl, I need your... So, Heather, uh, message me on Instagram with your shipping address. I think I have it, but just send it to me and message me again with that information in case I, it somehow got lost. And uh, while you're at it, um, I'll give you my PayPal to send the $5 to cover shipping. Congratulations, Heather. Very happy for you. All right. Let me get back to the live stream here. All right, guys. That is your... I'm, I'm giving you back uh, nine minutes today. About nine minutes. I'm done. I'm done. We sped through the uh, through the review. Hope you guys enjoy that. I, I tell you what, it's really fun doing these reviews, and I hope you guys like them. If you have any questions, concerns, criticisms, I... I'm a big boy. I can take it. Uh, put them below. What I can do better with them, I mean, I'll obviously, I'll look at what you uh, put and see whether I think it's a good idea or not. But if you give me some uh, constructive criticism or things like that, or just tell me I suck, then I'll be like, well, yeah, you're probably right. Uh, put that below in the comments and let me know what you think I can do to improve and get better. Because um, I really want to give, you know, what, what stuff you want covered in the reviews. I just kind of do what is important to me. But that doesn't always mean that that's 100% important to you. So if there's something about an RDA that you typically really want to know that I don't cover, uh, put that down there and remind me of it, and I'll make, make a mental note of it and make sure that I recover it in the following, the upcoming reviews. All right, guys. Uh, tonight on the YouTubes, you have Heavy Metal Vapor on at 9 o'clock. You also have Golf Tea Vapes. I believe that's on at 1030. You guys have a fantastic night. Great uh, seeing everybody today. Tomorrow on the Vape at 5, we have the Vape Hot Tub. So me and Charlie will be live tomorrow, 5 o'clock, for a little hubbity dubbity bubbity in the bubbly sudsy in the hot tub. Um, if you want to join the Patreon, I'll mention this. If you want to join the Patreon, it's $5 a month. Uh, it's 20 cents per episode, basically. You're paying to support the channel. I'd appreciate it. Link is below. We got a huge giveaway on, on Friday. So you got a chance to win an Odin stack mod. That's going to be followed with the dual top side. Um, and probably some, some, I've got a bunch of stuff. So we're going to do a lot of flash giveaways, top sides, recurves, um, rebirths, all the stuff that everybody really, uh, profile RDAs all going out. So I'm giving away pretty much everything that I got. Uh, so if you want to get in there, I'm going to start those pretty soon. So jump in there if you can. Again, it's five bucks. 20 cents an episode is what it comes out to. So if you want to do that, the link is below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate you guys. I really appreciate your time every day. I'll see you tomorrow for the hot tub. If you're in recovery, stay strong. And I promise I will too. See you tomorrow. Oh, <laughs>